Life can be very full of surprises that can alter our way of living. You can win the lottery and buy your dream house, fancy cars, and nice things. And on the other hand, something tragic could happen that not only affects you, but your entire family in just one split second. And sadly, that would be the case with this abandoned mansion. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks and we're back again for another episode. Today we just found this amazing abandoned mansion built in 1973. This place was last owned by a very successful businessman, a publisher, and a doctor. So we're going to see if there's a lot of stuff left behind, but before we do that, let's get into the story. Let's take a look around this house and then we'll go inside and see what's left. So I'm with Justin, Pearl Photography today. You guys know him, he's been on a lot of trips, so check him out down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. We're on the back side of it right now and it's awesome. So I can't wait to show you guys this. That is giant. Let's move from this. Still got water in it. And this is the back side of the mansion. Right around two million dollars. Uh, I wouldn't say it's worth that now, but that's what it last sold for, right around two million. It's definitely outdated, I can already tell. Here's the three car garage. Pretty neat, a lot of crap left in it, but it's just junk. And we're just surrounded by other mansions too. It's like out here on all this land, like you get so much, well not, I would say you get privacy, but you really don't. You can see through all these trees. Look at that, there's a fountain. And this is the front side of the mansion. Pretty cool place. Built in 1973, with over 5,000 square feet of living space, this home was one that caught the eyes of many. But one particular family made it their dream home. A man by the name of John once lived here with his wife, two children, and his mother. John was a very successful surgeon in the area, and his wife was a well-known publisher. John was very loved in the community, often hosting get-togethers with neighbors and being the life of the party. But one day, while doing his daily routines in the home, he suffered a massive heart attack at the age of 54. Unfortunately, he could not make it to the hospital in time, this, for obvious reasons, caused a lot of trauma for the family, and with the home not being paid off, they were forced to leave. Later on, it was bought by a developer who had plans of tearing the home down and building townhomes on the five acres of land. So join me today and let's see what's left. All right, everyone, we made it inside of this abandoned mansion. And as you can already tell, look at this staircase. It's so grand, uh, it's a little bit older. It feels like 1970s, but that is when this house was built. So maybe they just didn't do any upgrades, but there is some stuff left behind in here. And uh, I know we just heard the story about the guy and it's so sad that he tragically passed away, but now we gotta see what's left behind in this place because it is completely you know, neglected. So I'm going to start you off in the front door. We're going to work our way around the house like usual. And let's see what's left behind in this abandoned mansion. So like I just said, this staircase is very grand. Check it out. It's got this blue like carpet going all the way up it. Really nice woodwork too. 
I haven't seen a staircase like this in quite a while, it feels like. It's pretty nice. It's really, really close to the front door. So you can see the front doors right here. It's these double doors and it's locked with this. But in here, I also noticed the flooring. Check it out. It's got this crazy looking tiling all throughout this. And it's a pretty large mansion to say the least. It has a pool, it also has a little greenhouse, um, a few bedrooms, bathrooms. It's a really nice place. And it has a pool, so we're gonna have to check uh, everything out. But you guys already saw the outside. So let's just continue to walk through this. But like I said, this is the main foyer of this house. It's really, really neat. High ceilings too. I wonder if there was a chandelier at one point. I don't see anything that indicates that, but it definitely could have been. We do have a door right here. A little closet it looks like. You can see it matches with this blue carpet down here. This is a little storage closet maybe for your coats and whatnot because there's some hangers in there. So straight away I'm gonna say this might be the dining room because it's right next to it looks to be the kitchen over in that area. You can see it's empty but quite large say at least. You can fit a really large table in here. You have a lot of family, a lot of friends, things like that. This would be a great space. Really nice hardwood floors still. I mean, for built in the 70s, you know. But this is what you see if you just walk straight out. Beautiful staircase. Just a really nice foyer. Maybe this isn't the uh, kitchen, but this is a bar. I wonder if they had like shelves here or something like that. It's a really nice wood all around this room. And see, here's the bar right here. Some drinks are left behind. See some ginger ale and some Jack Daniels right there. You leave anything over here? I don't see anything, but look at this. It has that same sort of a mirrors that we see with that golden accents. I love seeing that stuff. That is like, I feel like that's a really common 70s thing. It doesn't look like many things were upgraded. Only being abandoned since about 2016. You know, everything is a little bit older, outdated. So I think we have our first bedroom to the right of this. It's carpeted in here. It's a smaller bedroom for sure. And you can see the damage, the ceiling, it's pretty bad. No beds left in this one, but there is stuff left upstairs. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. You found something cool? Oh, that's the doctorate degree. Walk-in closet here. And then this is the bathroom for this bedroom. So it looks like it might have been starting to get remodeled or something, because even the toilet says do not use, not working on it right there. The shower's right there. And all the wallpaper has been stripped off in this bathroom. See, it has a pretty nice sink though. But again, it's outdated. Okay, we come back out to this bar area straight through. Whoa, bro, you found a bunch of records? Look at it. Look at all it is though. The doors, Pink Floyd, Rush, Billy Idol. Dang. They had some good taste, I'll tell you that. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, dude. The fireplace is even cool too. Nice like stone. Probably had the TV mounted on this. This is a really cool room. I love the red carpet. This was definitely like the main living room. Yeah. Cause look at this, see, look at the lights they got up here. What do you think was right here? You think they put the couch right here? Uh, I'm gonna say they probably did, yeah. Probably a big light, a big chandelier that was. Oh, I bet there was in here. Handy. Tall ceilings. And then they had their record player probably. Look, there's even the, 
the bass or speaker right here. But that is cool seeing all of these records. You got the Pink Floyd, Nazareth, Billy Joel, Billy Idol. <laughs> they had some good taste in music. I still listen to all these stuff. I wonder what was hanging from this because there's chains hanging here. You need to have light fixtures right here. Nice woodwork throughout this place. Yeah, but yeah, this is the main living room. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the the wood paneling all around, yeah. but back in the day, it was popular. And some people do, some people still like it, but it's just not my style. Wow, Down this way, there's, check that out, there's this wallpaper. And it is textured too. It feels, ooh, wow, that's different. <laughs> It's this weird fat. It feels like one of those uh, potato sacks. That's what it feels like. Room temperature 56 degrees. That one? I think it's battery powered. Yeah, it's on. Oh, this goes to the basement. It's a basement? Yeah. That's creepy looking. All right, lead the way. <laughs> the first, we really, we, we usually save the basements for last. Oh, it's musty down here. Dude, the ceilings are high in here. It's like a whole nother house down here. So this room is like, uh, this is like your boiler room. It has a very distinct smell down here. I don't see any mold or anything, it's just dusty. Boxes full of stuff. This is literally like a whole nother house. I think because it's built on a hill. Yeah. Whoa. What on earth? This thing is really heavy. <laughs> it's like a Heisman trophy or something. <laughs> Jeez. I've never seen something like that. Oh, dude, look at this. Classic army men. That's so dope. <laughs> but this is like another, this is a den for sure. Or some something like that. Oh, spider webs are everywhere. I'm walking straight into them. Dang, you can tell this room maybe hasn't been occupied in a long time. There's spider webs going from floor to ceiling. Is that a, this is an air hockey table? It yeah, that's an air hockey table. Dang, too bad it's covered up with all this stuff. Whoa, dude, I didn't even notice this. You see the mural on the wall? Oh, wow. I'm gonna go wow. Wonder where that is. It looks like a trophy, like. I think it's heavy though, wow. I don't see anything on it though. No, I think it's just a statue. Hmm. I think that's all it is, huh? It's weird. This is like a bar area or kitchen or something. They got little ovens and microwaves and stuff. Like I'm getting some boots. Oh, that's it. Well, we got a whole nother side over here. Okay, so here's the bathroom. Look, we still got Q-tips and toothpaste and stuff in here. It's so dark down here. Oh my. Look at this. You got a little bench for lifting weights here. Yeah, I've seen weights throughout the place. This is a sick jacket. Yeah, this whole downstairs area is creepy. Grapefruit 
Feels like a workshop down here. I think it is a workshop of some sort. What is marmalade? Orange marmalade. Like a, a jelly preservative. Jelly preservative. Yeah, there's this is the only room I see with mold in it. Got a red phone and a white phone here. Alright, well let's go back up. So now that we're back up into the foyer, I forgot to show you guys something. Right by the front door is rocks. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Do you know? I don't even know. I kind of like it You would think that they would put plants there or something. Yeah. Maybe they did at one point, but I don't know. It's weird. So now we're on this side of the house. And this is another quiet, this is another big room. Now this could actually be the dining room because the kitchen is right there. That is the kitchen through that door. So this could be the actual dining room of this place. I love that it has this blue curtains up here, wallpaper throughout. It's like really nice wallpaper. Like I love this style. Looks like they left some suitcases and whatnot and a Christmas tree here. So we're entering the kitchen. I assume they had some sort of table here, maybe for uh, breakfast or something like that. And something about these I just love. How there's like a place you could set stuff. Or you can even sit here and then there's storage underneath. The flooring in here is like your basic vinyl. Not really too fancy. And then you got all of these cabinets here. A lot of, lot of storage space, a lot of cabinet space. Got an island in the middle, not too bad looking. And the smoke detector is out of batteries, so it's gonna be beeping a little bit. Look at this, this is made out of like, it's real brick right there. So that's pretty cool. Nice little island. Looks like they took the fridge away. It was, used to be right there. And there was something else right there too. I'm not sure what would have been there. Maybe two ovens or something. Yeah, so that would have been two ovens right there and the stove would have been right over there, which it looks like they removed all that stuff. You can tell. Stove would have gone here. Probably an electric stove. Pretty large kitchen. And I think this door leads to the pantry. So let's see. Oh my. Look at this. All this food still left here. Wow. Look at all that stuff. Crazy. Spam. It's like they took everything but the food from the kitchen. And this is starting to smell really bad, so I'm going to close this up. Look at that, there's a little Nokia phone. You know that phone's gonna last forever. Guys, that is the downstairs of this abandoned mansion. So now it's time to go upstairs. So we're gonna go up this staircase. Actually, no guys, I wanna take you up the main staircase, but I just noticed it's a little room right here. Don't really know what this was for. This is like a little closet space. And then there's a bathroom here. All right, let's go to the main staircase and go up. This blue plush staircase here. Check this out. So we have a bed here, but it's like a futon. So they did leave something behind here. Maybe this was a kid's room or something. 
Looks like there's a bunch of movies in here. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop 2, or Cop, is it just Cop 2 or Cop? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Field of Dreams, some classical VHS movies to say the least. But I'm wondering if this was maybe the kids room. It's a bit smaller and the bed is just like a futon bed. But it does have like a Jack and Jill um, bathroom. Here's the closet here. So this is going to be the Jack and Jill bathroom. Door's a bit tight. You can see it has double vanity in here. Pretty cool. Two sinks. Some of the bathroom stuff is what's mostly left behind, I feel like. And then you got the shower with the toilet. And the toilet does say do not working, or it's not working. So maybe they tried to winterize the house or something. And then you come to this room. This room feels 70s for sure, with this like weird orange carpet in here and this yellow wallpaper to match it. Not my uh, favorite color scheme there, but you know, teach their own. It looks like it might have even been used as an office because that is for a rolly chair and his desk right there. And then we got books, lots of books. Not actually not very many, but quite a few books. What's your worth? Price guide. Price. A lot of stuff about money. Seems like comes straight through here. And I'm not sure what's going on with this room. Tons of boxes. You found some nunchucks, bro? <laughs> you just... <laughs> try, try, try it again, try it again. <laughs> Where'd you find nunchucks at? <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? That's still in the box. Oh my gosh. That's ah, crazy. So this room upstairs feels a lot like a living space or an office. It's it's really strange how it's set up. You got a little couch here, dressers, and then you got these like briefcases, TVs, and things like that. Kind of weird stuff. There's a lot of random older stuff left behind here. And then there's just boxes full of trash. But I think we did find some collectibles and stuff. So we're gonna keep looking around, but this is this room. And this looks like this was all Christmas presents at one point, but the kind of Christmas presents that get like pre-wrapped in the stores. That's what it kind of gives off. And then it has a staircase over here. And this staircase actually leads directly to the kitchen downstairs. It's a really narrow staircase. Has a really cool window right there. You guys can see that. But now I think what we are entering is the master or this is what in fact should be the master. It's a very, very large, is that a guitar case? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Makes sense with all the speakers and the album. Yeah, it does. Maybe they play guitar. But this is a large room. This definitely would have been the master. I don't think they use it as that. It doesn't look like they use it as that at least. A very outdated room. All these dress shirts. It's even a coat there. Ralph Lauren, stuff like that. Looks like they maybe just use this as like a closet or something, or a game room. Exercise bike. Yeah, it does feel like an entertainment room. Kind of. Yeah, it feels definitely like an entertainment room. I mean, the walk-in closet's not very big. You know, it's just, the, the house is laid out so strange. Yeah. Like, I didn't even notice these lights here. <laughs> I almost just said that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but this is probably the coolest part of this room right here. This desk area. Look at this. Animated trick-or-treat kids. All Halloween stuff. This is, And they're still in the packages. I wonder what this stuff is worth these days. I, I've never seen it before, so maybe not anything. But that's pretty cool to say the least. Light animation, so they lit up and everything. Not to mention there's a lot of VHS's, books in here. And guys, there's freaking nunchucks. <laughs> I have 
never found nunchucks in a place before. So that's pretty neat. And then there's this really neat baseball bat. Probably wasn't a baseball bat, but some sort of bat. I feel like some people use bats like this for protection of their house. I think we got magazines and we got a globe here. It's a really old looking globe. And then a ton of, it looks like uh, board games. There's backgammon, there's uh, jigsaw puzzles, things like that up there. That's why I feel like it was more of like an entertainment space or like a storage room, but this would be a super nice master bedroom yeah. if it was updated because like, it's huge. Look at that. Those are, that's collections of newspapers. Wait, there's multiple copies? 1988. They were probably on the front page there. They definitely liked that, that paper yeah. in particular because there's a bunch of them. So they had to be, they had to be in it. They had to be in several of those. And then right here, you have this game. I think this is the back, uh, backgammon game. Is that thing is what it's called. And then you got, you know, checkers or chess right here. It's chess, yeah. I mean, filing cabinet, there's just paintings and boxes just full of stuff. I don't know, oh, box looks like it's full of hangers. Workout bike, clothing. That's so cool. Looks like these are uh, Microbiology 350. I think these are study cards is what's in those. And then there's just bags of clothes and random stuff everywhere. Check this out. We even got a record player right here. And then all the, the speakers and audio equipment for it. And bro, you were right. That's a big old map, isn't it? <laughs> Two of them there. There's three sombreros right here. They're definitely like a cheaper material sombrero, but still pretty cool. You don't ever see those in bandos. So that is this room. Guys, which I'm, I'm gonna call it the master bedroom. I just don't know for sure. It's just quite large. It's what it feels like it would be. Right, I think it's time that we go to the other side of the staircase. You can see what it looks like from the top. It looks super fancy, really nice. But you got this blue carpet going all the way down this hallway to the next bedrooms. So let's see what's left down here. Go to our left. Oh wow. The bed left behind. I did not expect this to be left in here. Definitely gives off squatter vibes. <laughs> I can definitely see the squatter vibes, but you still got some stuff left up here, little knickknacks. This blanket definitely do not match the size of the bed. <laughs> That's why I feel like it's squatter, for sure. But uh, yeah, I was not expecting this bed to be left in here. Really nice furniture in here too. It's more modern, more like sleek looking. What is that? What? Is that the Twin Towers? Yeah, but it's 1994. The New York City Marathon. People are running up. I thought it was something else. Yo, that's crazy. In 1994. What? Yeah, seven years before 2001. Oh my gosh. Los Angeles? Whoa. It's really sweet artwork. Los Angeles Marathon. Dude, these people ran marathons, I think. Looks like they were Democrat. For sure. This is a pretty neat bedroom. I mean, it has this little built-in shelf right here. Not a lot of stuff left on it, but it's a nice little built-in. And then, I mean, this is the king-size bed. The, even, the bed even has little openings, but it, it's weird because like it's too, like the bed's too tall for them to even open. And there's nothing left in the drawers or anything. But this room does have a bathroom. 
I can go check that out. I mean, it's really small. So I'm wondering what room was used as what? Like, was this used as the master? Because this does not feel like it. Being such a small bathroom and a small closet. Yeah. But it has the king size bed. So, I mean, maybe an adult was sleeping in here. I don't know. I had a king size bed when I was in high school. Yeah. So, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> right across the hall is another room. This one's green. This whole room is like a green color. Check it out. And you got this like shag carpet in here. This carpet has definitely not been updated since the 70s. Like I don't ever see carpet like this anymore. Maybe this was the master. I don't know. It looks like a bed would have gone here and these would have been the nightstands because there's two matching ones on both sides. So I think there was a bed right in here. Okay, I'm thinking this was the master. It's just weird because it's like a weird green color, but you come back and then you have a, yeah, a lot bigger walk-in closet here. Look at this. You got the like wooden inserts for your shoes, all that stuff. But those look like uh, inserts for your shoes and, and things like that. But this is definitely a bigger closet. And then I think the master bathroom is right over here. And yeah, it stays with kind of this greenish theme, but just a different design. The closet in here is still full of stuff. So we got perfumes and colognes. And look at this, this has shells. Of course it's full of shells. It says what it is, it is what it says it is. And check out the bathtub, my goodness. That's cool. It's really low down there, and it's not very deep. It's probably the most shallow bathtub I've ever seen. No shower in here. Well, actually there is a shower. I just didn't notice it, I guess. But there's the shower, and then of course, there's a toilet there. Must have been mirrors hanging up, I'm, I'm gonna assume. And here is your two sinks, his and hers. There must have been lights on Three different lights right here. You can see where uh, the outlets are. That's the master. We uh, pretty much just explored the whole house. Pretty cool to say the least. I mean, not much left, but you know, still really cool. It's a nice mansion. It is definitely way outdated. And uh, yeah, the story of it's kind of sad. The guy just kind of passed away and the family couldn't do anything else with it. So it just kind of sat here abandoned for a long time and is what it is. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, check out my guy Justin, you know he's in the videos a lot, pro photography, check him out down in the description. And yeah, we're going to hop out of this house, we're going to go to the next one, and we'll see you there. So, until next time, Big Banks out.